Hi fitness friends, get ready to turn up the heat today with a workout that was written by our dear fitness friend named Kristen Ritter. So if you like this workout, make sure you tell her in the comments section. For this workout, I will be using heavy, medium, and light weights, and also my 16 inch elevation. So grab your equipment if you have it. If you don't have an elevation that you can use, I'll tell you what you can do so you can do the move right on the ground. All right, this workout has lots of new formats, so get ready to have some fun and we'll turn up the heat. All right guys, I hope you're all ready to go. We're gonna start with a warm up. This is 30 seconds on, five seconds off. It's only five moves and we're only going through it once. So it's just over, just under three minutes. 10 second countdown is started. Beginning with swimmers. So you're down on your belly and you're lifting opposite arm and your opposite leg off the floor. Just like a swimmer. Breathe it out. Your head is down. Your neck is in line with your spine. Don't strain your neck. This is just a warm up. Use your muscles to pull your arm and leg up. Feel it in your glutes, in your shoulders, in your back. Okay, next move, jumping jacks. Plain old jumping jacks, here we go. Big arms, big legs. 30 seconds here. And then we're moving on to a move called Gorilla squat. A gorilla squat is just like a regular squat, except your hands are going to stay on or under your toes. So it's just your butt coming up and down. Five seconds. Okay, get your hands on your feet, and at the beat we're going to we're going to be lifting into a squat. Still keep your knees behind your toes. So I'm trying to just hold them onto the front of my toes. Straighten those legs, feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Start to warm up your quads. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now we're doing high knees. Bring that heart rate back up a little bit. Get them up there, spread it out. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Last move in the warm up is a plank frog hop. High plank position, hopping those feet up to your hands. So high plank, frog hop. Hopping my feet to the outsides of my hands and bending my knees like a frog. All right, nice work. Guys, we're ready to move right on to our first strength portion. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, three moves, three times through. So that's nine minutes total. Deep breath, 10 second countdown has started. We are beginning with a plank row to a kick through. So I'm holding nine pounds in each hand. Going into a high plank. You're gonna row, step it up, kick through, okay? Come back, back, finish off that row. Other side, row, step it up, kick through. If you do not have square weights, you're just gonna have to switch the weight on the floor and keep your other foot hand on the floor. Unless you're going to try to challenge yourself to balance on your own weight, which I do not recommend. Nice 
Next work, next move is a deadlift. Get your weight down to the floor. And then we're gonna do a squat and press. So I'm gonna go with a full 24 pounds in each hand here. Heavy weights. So deadlift it all the way down. Squat. Pop those weights up. Thrust it above your head. It's kind of like a clean and press. Deadlift down. Place to the floor. Get them up. Squat and press. Control that deadlift down. Weights onto the floor. Bring them up. Press it. Down. Squat. Do you guys recognize that motion from like the gorilla squat warm up? Kristen's tricky. All right, we have hammer curls and upright rows. So I'm gonna go with 15 pounds in each hand. So, full hammer, cur hammer curl, palms stay facing your body, elbows are tight to your rib cage. Bring those weights down, upright row. Hammer curl, down, upright row. Curl it. Row. Nothing else is moving but your arms right now. Squeeze those biceps. Elbows out wide for that upright row. Nice work. Down. Up. Less than 10 seconds. These moves should be hard to do for 50 seconds. If they're not, increase your weight. All right, we're doing the row, plank row, pull through, kick through again. This time I'm going with 12 pounds in the hand. I'm gonna go like this so you can see. Kick it through, step it back, put down that row. Row, step it up, kick it through, and back. Row, up, kick through. Make sure you're controlling your weights. Your whole body's tight here. You're squeezing your butt, your abs, your back. Nice job. Down. Deadlift, clean and press, whatever you want to call it. I'm going heavyweight again. Here we go. Nice controlled deadlift. Butt goes out behind you. Set the weights on the ground. Bend your knees. Bring it up. Clean and press. Deadlift down. Knees bend. Your back is flat. Your abs are tight. You're using that momentum of the squat to thrust that weight up above you. Down, knees, up. Nice work. Okay, I'm going back with 15 pounds for the hammer curl and upright row. Got the weights, here we go. Hammer curl, down, upright row. Curl it. Really squeeze those biceps. Down. Nice work. Stay tight. Make sure you're not using your whole body to jerk those weights up for that upright row. This is just your muscles working. This is not a momentum move. Less than 10 seconds. Nice 
Nice work. All right, we are back to the top again with the kick throughs and rows. 12 pounds is what I'm sticking with. That was good for me for controlling it. Let's go. Row, up, kick through, back.
plie squat jumps. Get a quick drink. Plie squat jumps, plyo push ups, chair lunges, alternating to your arms, tuck jumps. Plie squat jumps are first. Here we go. Stay with me. Moving directly into plyo push ups. Get down. Chair lunges or high knees. Alternating T's. This works well for me with these weights. 
my hands are at like the exact distance holding the sides of this weight for a narrow chest press. Squeeze your butt if you're going into a bridge like me, or if you're on your ball. Your neck should be on your ball and your butt should be in a bridge anyway. So, breathe it out. Use your lats to pull that weight over. Develop your back muscles. Nice work. All right, moving into a skull crusher and a hip bridge with a pause. So, skull crusher and hip bridges, I'm using 15 pounds. I'm gonna elevate my feet. Skull crush, hip bridge, pause it. I went with a lighter weight here because these double moves like this are sometimes hard for me to control and I don't want to be moving my elbows around. I'm gonna to totally use my triceps for this and really squeeze my butt at the top of that motion. Skull pressures are just fine for me, especially because we're doing it three times. All right, back to the top. I'm going to go with 12 pounds in each hand this time. Get this on quickly. We're doing alternating curtsies and front raises and lateral leg raises again. Here we go. Curtsy, front raise, lateral leg lift. Nice work. Curtsy down, front raise, come up, squeeze your glutes. Nice job. Sink it low. Turning up the heat. Okay, moving back into the, the pullover and narrow chest press. I'm gonna go with the full 24 pound weight again. Get back on that. Press up into your bridge. Pull over. Control your weight. Narrow chest press. Squeeze their chest muscles there. Breathe it out. Nice work. Stay strong. Your elbows are coming right down by your rib cage when you do that chest press. They're staying closer to your body. Working your triceps a little bit with that chest. Okay, back to the skull crusher and hip bridge. Sticking with 15 pounds, elevating my feet again. Here we go. Get your butt up, weight above your chest, down, squeeze up, pause, down, squeeze up and pause. Nice work. Up. Breathe it out. Your butt should be burning. Okay, back to the top again. Front raises and curtsies. So at 12 pounds. This is our last time through these moves. So make it count. Here we go. Curtsy lunge, front raise. Bring it up. Kick. Up. Down. 
Nice work. Stay controlled. Stay strong. goblet squat. So I'm going to hold my one 24 pound weight and put my vest on. Then do a normal goblet squat and squeeze your butt on the top and then slowly lower. All right. 
Grab the best. Hold one weight at your chest. Engage your core. Toes are normal. This is a normal squat. Slow down. Get as deep as you can control. Come up and squeeze. Okay? Up and squeeze. Breathe it out. Sit your butt back behind you, nice and slow. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going like five count down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, push-ups are next. Regular push-up, slowly down. Here we go, high plank. Go down for the count of four. One, two, three, four. Push up. One, two, three, four. Up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, oh gosh, that burned. Okay, dumbbell bunch over rows. I'm gonna go with 15 pounds in each hand. So grab your weights, stick your butt back behind you. You're rowing up, slowly lower. So I'm choosing to do a wide row here. You wanna keep your elbows close to you and turn your palms forward, you can do a close row. I always try to say this, but this is your workout. So you need to choose what challenges you and how you want to work your body. Three, two, and one. Stand it up. We have a Bulgarian split squat. So I'm dropping my weights entirely. Getting them out of my way and putting my foot up on my elevation. Oops. Here we go. Go down nice and slow. Switching at 25 for me. All right, next cycle, back to the top. We're doing isometric pauses. So at the midpoint of the rep, you're pausing and holding for three seconds. Getting started right away, 10 second countdown, beginning with the hip thrust. So, just gonna keep my, see if this helps. Get your back situated. Down, pause and squeeze, finish it off. Up, pause, squeeze, two, three, come on up. One, two, three, go all the way down. Come back up, midpoint, two, three, up. I'm pausing at the top too because for me, the top part of a hip thrust is the hardest part of the motion. So where you really gotta squeeze that butt and get that Tilt going. Down. Squeeze. 
squeeze it. All right, goblet squat. So you're whoo, stuck on my elevation. Goblet squat, I'm going to 24 again. I'm pausing at the midpoint for three seconds. I'm pausing at the top. I'm not at the top, pausing on the way down. Two, three, down at the bottom, come up. Two, three, all the way up. So I'm pausing at the midpoint on the way down and on the way up. Squeeze your butt. I know this is a small range of motion. I'm at the top going center. Two, three, all the way down, middle. Two, three, up, middle. Two, three, down, middle. Two, three, up, middle. Two, three, down. Two, three, nice work. Push ups, push up pauses. Let's go. High plank, go halfway. One, two, three, down, halfway. Two, three, up. Two, three, down, up halfway, two, three, up, two, three, two, three, up, oh, that's hard, two, three, down, up, two, three, Hold your breath. Oh my goodness. Okay, dumbbell back rows. So we're gonna stick with the 15s. Same thing. I'm pausing on the way out and on the way in. So three up, two, three, down. Two, three, up, midpoint, two, three, down. Keep your shoulders down, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your butt here too. I feel it working. Okay. Oh, Bulgarians. So get the weights out of the way. I'm gonna start on the other leg this time. Switching halfway through. So we go. So go down, pause halfway. Two, three, all the way down. Come back up, pause halfway. Two, three, and up, two, three, down, up, two, three, up. Get ready to switch feet right now. Oops, get it going, pause, down, pause, and up. Up, down. All right, guys, nice work. Okay, we are back to the top again, our third cycle. We are doing concentric, which is a slow lift. So the opposite of the eccentric, where we're going to slow down, we're gonna go slow on the way back up, normal pace on the way down. Hitting start now, 10 second countdown started. Beginning with that hip thrust. So, get your back on your elevation. And this is the concentric. So, slowly raise, squeeze, and really squeeze at the top of this move. Down, squeeze. Up.
can really feel these guys. If you really squeeze your butt, slowly raise, squeeze it down. Slow raise, squeeze. Slow raise. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. It's hard to get off this elevation with my vest on. I feel like a turtle stuck on my back. Okay, you have your feet for your goblet squats. Going down a normal pace, coming out slow. Down, up slow, sorry. Down normal pace, up nice and slow. Really squeeze that butt. This is in mind and body. Down normal pace, up slow. Squeeze, down normal pace. Come up, slow. Stick your butt out behind you. Only go as low as you can comfortably get and control. Three, two, and one. Onto the push up. Slowly raising down at your normal speed. Here we go, high plank. So down normal pace, come up. Slow, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Two, three, four. I am shaking on these push ups, guys. Two, three, four, two, Three, four. Oh. Keep going. Don't stop. Thank goodness. All right, bent raises, bent rows. Fifteens. Get my fifteens. Here we go. Bend over, slowly raise. Go down normal pace, slow raise. Down normal pace. Nice work. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Ten seconds left here. Two, three, okay. And then we have the Bulgarians. It's out of the way. It's a slow point up. So. Normal pace down, slow raise. Five seconds on this leg. Switch. Squeeze it up. Nice work. All right, guys, next round. We have continuous, continuous reps. No pauses, no slowness, just your normal pace, okay? 10 second countdown started. Beginning with that hip thrust. So, you're going up and down, up and down. Really still give it a squeeze at the top. Just because you're not pausing doesn't mean you can't squeeze that muscle. Down. 
down. Nice work. 20 seconds left here. Keep going.
of this part and then all we have is a burnout. <laughs> 10 second countdown started. So I'm gonna start holding at the top part of that motion because for me, that's the hardest part of the hip thrust. So I'm gonna be up in that full bridge, squeezing, squeeze, squeeze. Your muscle should be so tight, your butt has that pruny look. I know that's terrible. It's a very unattractive look, but squeeze it to make it look that way so it looks nicer when you're not doing that. Squeeze. Breathe it out. Closer to the bottom than I am the top. Toes and knees are in the right positions. Breathe it out. Chest stays up, weight is at your chest. You're not resting your arms on your legs. 25 seconds, come on. If you need to pulse or move around a little bit, go ahead. Just try to stay in it. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we have a push up hold. Switching my way back to 15, so I'm ready for my. Can't get it in. Okay, push up hold. Let's go. Midpoint of the push up, hold it. Alright guys, we have our burnout. 
so don't quit now. Let's move straight onto it. We're doing a deadlift, plank hop, cross body mountain climber, continuous zotman curls, and sledgehammer squat. A sledgehammer squat. I'm gonna hold 15 pounds up above my head. Squat down, sledgehammer, bring it up in a circle. Okay? We have 30 second intervals. We're going through these moves twice. Hitting start now. We're beginning with a deadlift to a plank hop. So I'm gonna go with heavy weights here. Up at the top of my mat. Deadlifting it down, dropping the weights down, doing a plank hop on top of them. If your weights aren't square, put your hands on the ground. Squeeze at the top. Stay with it.
It's going to be a strong move to the finish. Set one way down. Let's go. Let's get it doing, done here. It comes up. Sledgehammer down. Squat. Bring it up. Go fast. Be controlled. Nice job. Five seconds. Two and one. Way to go. Oh, guys. I sure felt like Kristen turned up the heat for this one. I really liked all these strength moves. That thermogenic circle cycle circuit was killer. All those different time tempos and moves. I am feeling it. I will feel those push-ups tomorrow, I guarantee it. So stretch it out, drink lots of water, refuel your body. Give Kristen a big thanks for this one, and I will see you next time.